Um, I think the green anole has smaller independently ro rotating eyes to see the prey or like if there's a predator and it's not, doesn't know anything about it. And it could probably just rotate its eyes and the predator won't even know. And I think the leopard gecko has just like larger eyes and f and for a fixed position because at night it's mostly active. So probably stores like more light in it to see. So for the green anole thing, it has smaller independently rotating eyes since like it has lots of trees in its environment so it wants to see where and um, like how far the trees are. And for the leopard gecko, it has larger eyes in a fixed position because it doesn't need to move around as much because it's only a flat surface. I think like the reason the green anole has rotating eyes is because it could like see around and know if like a putter is watching it but he, he could also know that or he or she could also know that where prey is so the leopard gecko has shorter and fatter tail and i think it's because like it can store fat because like in the desert it it, it might not have a lot of food, so it'll just eat up from its fat. So I think the green anole has a longer and skinnier tail. One for balance, and two because it's not, it has a lot of food around it, and it lives in a forest or yeah forest ecosystem. A leopard gecko lives in a desert ecosystem, so there's difference in food. So that's why the green anole has a skinnier tail and the leopard gecko has a short shorter and fatter tail. Um I think green anole has like longer and skinnier tail because um it's used to balance and same thing he said um there's like a lot of food around him it so and leopard gecko it has shorter and fatter tail so it can store a lot of more fat because it lives in the desert and then it might, there might be less food. So the leopard gecko has rough yellow and black skin. It's probably because they like, um, like blend in with the surroundings. Because like if it's yellow, it can blend in with the sand and like the black, the black parts of it could be like rocks. And so that's why I think that's yeah, that has it. So I think the green anole and the leopard gecko have different skin. One, the green anole surroundings are blades of grass, leaves, trees. So that's probably why its skin can change color and and why it has smooth skin. And then a leopard gecko might have rough, uh, rougher. A rougher texture on the outside and because of its surroundings and where it lives. Same thing, um, the smooth color changing skin um, and it changes colors because the, um, it lives in the forest where there's green and brown so they have to change their colors in order to survive. And leopard gecko has rough yellow and black skin because it lives in the desert and it, it wants to adapt to its the sand near him.